we'll be taking a small amount of resin as i'm working on a very small uh, piece i will be using only around uh, 10 grams of resin and 6 grams of hardener not uh, not much i am using very little uh do we ma'am uh there are few people who are asking if this is a wood if you could just yeah, maybe clarify yeah this is a piece of wood uh, i have got it from a scrap wood shop not on the higher end it is on a very uh, lower end wood uh, you can use it you get it very easily like you know uh, anywhere you go you find the uh, scrap wood shops they will uh, weigh you and give you a particular price for this it is not at all costly it is on a very uh, you know a uh, cheaper end i usually use this wood to do my works option for wood you can get any number of wood you can even use teak wood in this rose wood in this that all depends on you like you know if you are making a furniture for yourself or you are making any uh, accessories for your own household work you can definitely go in with any wood that way that is not at all an issue for the basic i just get wood from a scrap shop and uh, getting resin uh you have art based shops or you have uh, resin uh, what do you call um you uh, my manufacturers right now in india there are so many of them so you can just get it from them you can if you just google it you will get many manufacturers which type of resin is used soft or hard there is nothing called soft and hard resin you have like art resin you have casting resin basically an art resin is used uh, for making wall clocks or uh, geodes uh, anything which has got a base uh, anything you can make with that casting resin is usually used for you know making tables because it is got on a higher density usually that is being used for that but there is not much of a difference i have not applied any color to the wood it is just plain uh, it is just uh, what do you call sanded up nothing else resin measurements uh, once you start working with resin you will start getting an idea to work or you can you know uh, just uh, you have a resin calculator uh, on google if you just put resin calculator you can get, get your uh, you will uh, you know try get a calculator where you can use it for wall clock you can use anything you can use wood as base you can use mdf you can wood plywood you can use just resin you can use anything for the base there, there are no issues but when in case you are using wood mdf uh, and plywood uh, no you cannot use canvas because uh, the canvas is a cloth so it and it doesn't have a thick base behind so when you are using resin you know that will just soak it up Uh, i am using resin from mr bond polychemicals it is uh, basically from ahmedabad you can use on photo yes you can use on photo but you have a procedure to use on photo so after adding the resin and the hardener you will be having to mix it you will have to mix it in a very slow uh, you know uh, slow direction scraping the sides and you will be mixing the resin in a slower manner why mixing it in a slower manner rather than you know just whipping you know like whipping it up is if you start whipping it up you will start creating air bubbles into it so just to avoid those air bubbles we will just be mixing it in a slow proportion you will take approximately around 5 minutes to mix your resin whether it is a smaller quantity or a larger quantity you can mix resin in a slower proportion rest it for some time and again mix some time in the sense just for 2 or 3 minutes you can buy resin in any art shop or online 
Uh, today it's available even on Amazon, I guess. Or you can just Google up for manufacturers. Uh, you will it is easily available. If you get A bubbles in your resin, one thing what will happen is uh, there are uh, few resins where uh, it uh, it is being given as uh, air free air bubbles free resin. So in those resins, it will automatically you know uh, cure on its own. You will not find any resin uh, air bubbles in that. But in certain uh, uh, what do you call resins? There will be minute air bubbles, which you know uh, it is difficult for you to use when you are making crystal clear pieces. No, I am not applying anything on wood, like acrylic color or anything. I will not be making anything, not uh, using any artificial extra colors. I will be using only resin and resin pigments. But uh, in a way, you know, few people prefer it using acrylic colors, paint the surface uh, to give a lighter, darker shade of color, and then, you know, just pour the resin, coat it uh, to give it a glossier finish. I prefer working with resin and resin art pigments so that, you know, we can have a, a different effect. That's it. You can do it in either ways. I'm using a wood base. It is just a normal piece of wood, normal one inch piece of wood, nothing else. I have just sanded it down so that this, the top surface becomes clean and clear. Keep scraping the sides so that, you know, it doesn't give you any problem. Because once the resin is in the proper, pro my brand of resin, my brand of resin is from Mr. Bond Polychemicals from Ahmedabad. You can uh, even use Fortune Chemicals. I use different brands uh, because uh, I have not stuck up to one brand. I keep using different brands. So when, you know, like after mixing, you will find like uh, while mixing the hardener, you know, it will be showing strands in the resin. But once you will... Uh, as it goes and as it keeps mixing on, you will find less and, you know, it will become transparent. So until and unless that you will have to mix it. The base for wall cloth, you can use MDF, you can use plywood, you can use wood or just like that. I have two is to one ratio, how to measure. Two is to one is very simple, very easy. It is just like, you know, if you have, uh, you have a weighing machine, uh, 50 grams of resin will uh, then 25 grams of hardener. It's just that simple. 100 grams of resin, 50 grams of hardener, 50 grams of resin, 25 grams of hardener. Or you want to go on a very, uh, you know, small scale like how I'm doing 10 grams of resin, 5 grams of hardener. Cost of resin uh, varies from every uh, company, ma'am. No, please don't do measure with the measuring spoon because when you do so, you know, you uh, end up making, uh, spoiling up your artwork. Like uh, you will have an oily texture or you will have the resin is not being cured. Even after 24 hours, your resin will not be cured. Uh, or, you know, it will give a sticky structure or in case you are not, you are just used resin, it will become flexible. So please do not uh, use uh, uh, any spoon or any measuring cup or anything. Please use a uh, measuring uh, machine. You have this in different sizes. Uh, you have it in round and square. It is easily available in the market. Please use them. Please do not use anything else. What will ratio of 3 is to 1? 3 is to 1 is 3 parts of resin and 1 part of hardener. So for an easy calculation, you can go in with 90 grams of resin and 30 grams of hardener. This is for the, you know, normally which we take it. If you are dividing it, you have to divide it equally. Just divide it like 90 and 30. So just 9 grams of resin for a smaller scale like this, 9 grams of resin. 
to 3 grams of hardener. So this will work. Uh, once you have your resin or your hardener open, it will not dry. But you know, there are chances of uh, your hardener getting spoiled. Uh, maybe uh, like, you know, uh, usually it is transparent chemical. But if you find air and water moisture into the hardener, maybe you will it will become in a smoky effect, smoky texture. So please, after you work with your resin, please, please, please close your resin bottles in a proper manner so that that doesn't affect your resin. Because once that ha happens, you can use it, but it will give a smoky effect in the whole of your artwork. It will not be a very in a clear position. For A bubbles not to come, uh, there are many things in the market, like, you know, they are uh, um, uh, like a, a hot pot or something. Uh, every, there are so many machines and techniques, but uh, it all goes on the higher end, expensive end. Like if you have to get a decan uh, machine, it is around 15,000 to 18,000. So I usually don't uh, use it. I just go on the slow process method. So uh, to any of your piece, if you're using a wood plank, what you do is you just cover all these sides with a normal cellophane tape. This will be easier for you to, you know, while you're removing your uh, resin artwork so that in case there are drips of resin in the sides, it will be easier for you, uh, you know, to clean up your uh, piece or else you have to go on a long process of uh, cleaning the edges with again sanding using machineries everything if you have machineries it's not at all an issue but in case you don't have like this is the best way you can prevent it And what you do is even at the back side, just gift like you know how you gift wrap certain uh, gift wrap, just wrap it up so that you will not have a problem because if it drips, you will have drips all over here. So this is the safest way. Can we use uh, no? You cannot use acrylic colors in your resin because uh, resin is uh, you know. An enemy of water, uh, anything which is got water based. Your acrylic colors are usually water based. So please do not use. How to clean the molds after the piece is ready? You can use, uh, you know, uh, a mild uh, what, uh, soap or uh, of the mildest soap in just uh, water, in a tub of water. Uh, and just clean it up. How do we do it in a thin MDF? It is very easy, ma'am. We, uh, I, I'll just show you a small piece. This is MDF base. It's the thinnest. I think it is six mm MDF base, and I have done resin work on top of it. I can't teach you everything in this one class. I'm just giving you an idea that you can work with all such materials. Which colors are being used now for ocean wave? You can make a black ocean or you know you can make a blue ocean. But in case you're working for geos, it is all your wish of using colors. Heat glen or blowtorch, yeah, you can use a heat glen or blowtorch, but I usually, uh, you know, especially for the bigness, I don't recommend it because uh, in case you give extra heat with a blowtorch, your resin will start burning. So I don't recommend it. I, you, I just uh, go on just like that. That is why I do the mixing so slowly. So now I'll be taking just a little bit of clear resin in another bowl uh, this will be we'll be working that for a white and in the remaining thing we will be adding resin pigments you have it in 
translucent color in the form of liquid also you have you have it in the form of solids also like th these are the blue pigments a light blue or dark blue these all you i am using a wood base or uh, this is your wish like you know you use translucent color what will happen your back side of the board will be seen whatever you are using but in case you are going in for a uh, uh, kya bolte hain solid color this will become invisible uh, like you will be able to find only the uh, color i'm just adding a uh, one two and three drops i don't want it on a much darker scale this is a translucent color to which uh, we have shimmers also like you know to just give it a bit of shine so i will just be adding just chota sa one pinch not more just one pinch and i will just be mixing this again in a small you know small scale like you know not on a full on speed on a very small slower scrap all the sides and mix it in case like you know see this is translucent i will just show you see you can it is see through you can see it uh, just like that in case you feel like this uh, you know you don't want translucent uh, how, what do i do get okay, after getting a translucent color you don't have to worry about it it is like you know just stay a very little of your white pigment and mix it to this so that will you know not become translucent it will just become uh, it will uh, become like a solid color so i guess this is the lightest shade i am just giving a demo class ma'am uh, ma'am we get shimmers we get metallic colors for all the resin works with all the manufacturers now we are getting the colors or even in any art based uh, shops you go you will definitely get uh, you know uh, shimmers just for resin art work so now i'll be adding this to my board as we have kept it you know for so long this will not you know run all across your board because it is you know not in a uh, runny formation that is the best work when you know when you work uh, so that you can you know just take it to whichever portion you need need it to go so you know you can just you don't need to worry about it you can just give a nice uh, shape okay and then uh, the transparent which we have taken we will be just adding a thin outer layer to this a very thin layer okay so after doing this in the remaining transparent what we will be doing is you have the white pigment we will be mixing the white pigment not much at all just very little like i have just dipped my spoon they will not actually get uh, mixed because we have you know kept the resin for uh, uh, for it to rest for almost 5 minutes it will not mix it is not in a runny proportion to mix into each other so it will not mix so once you have just laid that layer allow it to settle and we will be mixing a white pigment to the remaining transparent resin white pigment while mixing you know uh, just uh, you don't need so much of white pigment a little of white pigment is enough just to give it you know or if you can see if i can show you the whitest 
shade you will get so once you get the whiter shade what we'll be doing is like how we have you know placed this uh kya bolte hain transparent part the same way after this we will be placing a thin line this will not get mixed because it is you know it is not in a runny consistency it will not get mixed at all so you just have to okay and see to that you know uh, i hope everyone can see and see to that you are uh, you know surface is actually uh, straight enough because i felt it is little uneven so i have just placed it down if uh, if anyone of you can't see i will just yeah i am doing a beach theme ma'am uh silicone molds yes you can use silicone molds but i usually don't i don't use them uh this is a basic hair dryer which we have and what we need here is we need the heat part of your hair dryer not the speed part it takes around to cure completely to dry it completely it takes about 24 hours yes clock art in beach theme will be for in the master class i'm just giving you a demo session so in this we need the hot part please feel the heat of your hair dryer before you know uh, placing in this and when doing it you will be starting from this end and you will just move towards the other end you will not be like giving from middle yahan pe yahan pe and here so you will just start from one side and you come to the other side and just leave it that's it so can you see the you know uh, how do i show you yeah can you see that the wave is taken its own uh, place and it's given it's giving out its bubbles also so this will be the basic for your uh, kya bolte hain uh, for your ocean wave 